one of the things, and actually before this episode, we, uh, Ryan memorized, I shuffled a deck of cards, and uh, Ryan memorized the ten, of, ten, the first ten cards I pulled off the deck. All right, so we've repositioned ourselves so I can't see, um, but you guys can see what's going on in the video that we'll share with the uh, podcast uh, show notes. So, first one uh, was a nine of hearts. Yes. The second one was a ten of diamonds. Yes. The next one was a four of clubs. Yes. The next one was a four of diamonds. Yes. The next one was a six of hearts. Yes. The next one was a three of clubs. Yes. The next one was a, let's see. And it was a club. Yep. And it was a jack. Yes. The next one was um, a two of hearts. Almost. Nope, diamonds. Yep. It's because it was my father running out the door. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll have to explain that in a yeah. second. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Um, the next one was a eight of. Clubs? Nope. There's definitely an eight. There was an eight of spades. Nope. I don't know what it was. It was an eight of something. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Eight oh, dad, so my dad made me fill up the. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll reference that one too. And then the last one was a uh, two of clubs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's all I only missed. One. Two of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Got to kind of move around here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to briefly talk about what we did real quick for this. Yeah. Cool? So, as I said, I just shuffled up these cards and then I drew the first top 10 and uh, made Ryan build this memory palace. And so, what, what were your process in this memory palace? So, what we did is Abraham told me, um, kind of walked me through the process, right? You, you, you showed me how to kind of build this memory palace. So, what yep. we did is we started. Um, selecting locations, so we found, uh, I selected my house that mm -hmm. I grew up in for like my middle school to high school years, Yep. Um, and we started the door. Can we just walk through the whole process of what was going on there? Uh, just like what, what you use to sort of anchor those memories so you can remember okay. suit and number. Okay, yeah, so um, what we did is there was, there was number versus face cards. My numbers, um, all my number cards were somebody was running, yep. all my face cards was something something or someone was sitting. Yep. All of my uh, suits went in this order. My diamonds were my father, my hearts were my mother, my spades were someone, something gardening yep. related, um, and my clubs were uh, golf clubs. Yep. And when it came to the numbers, I tried to relate it to something that was going on in that context. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, halfway through was the six of hearts. My mom used to sit by the coffee table, which was about halfway through from the door to the backyard, which mm -hmm. is what I used to kind of remember, memorize everything. She read a lot of uh, Nora Roberts books, um, and we remembered actually, I didn't reference this, but white, pink, purple, red, blue, green. Yep. Is how we remember the six. Yeah, there's six um, colors of the books. Yeah, six colors of the books that were sitting on the coffee table. Um, immediately after that, for another example, was the three of clubs, and the reason it was clubs was, um, clubs was easy to remember because of the golf club part, mm -hmm. but uh, I used three because my dad used to throw on way too many uh, logs on the fire and made it very <laughs> hot. So I could bring all those other senses in, right? Yeah. The senses, which was um, actually like really beneficial because I would like, uh, I'd remember the process of, oh, I'm at the fireplace now, and mm -hmm. it's just like sweat clubs, like, it, boom, it's there. You yeah, know? yeah. So, right. um, yeah, that was kind of what I used. Is that enough detail? Yeah, that's really okay. great. 